La yashkurullaha ma la yashkurun nas. He who does not thank people does not thank Allah. Welcome to episode 10 of the Ramadan series on gratitude brought to you by Solace Islamic Mental Health Services. In a world that increasingly emphasizes individualism, the importance of gratitude can sometimes be overshadowed by a pursuit of hyper-independence, me, myself, and I. This me, myself, and I mentality is a threat to our well-being because it misses a very critical component of our humanity and spirituality, interconnectedness, the need to be dependent on one another in a very healthy way. And how can we make sure that we are dependent on one another in a healthy way? It's by thanking one another whenever you get an opportunity. Because gratitude does not only bring us closer to Allah, but also strengthens our bond with the people around us. Consider this. Your husband brings home groceries, a task that he was supposed to do anyway. Yet a simple smile and thank you from you can significantly alleviate his tiredness and rejuvenate his spirits. Or imagine this, your wife prepares iftar, meal, anything, a task that she has taken upon herself. A warm smile and a heartfelt thank you from you can lighten her burden and uplift her spirit. Or your child tidies up their room, they were supposed to do it, it was their responsibility. Yet a gentle smile and one appreciative word from you can immensely boost their spirit and encourage them further. When your very annoying sibling shares their snack with you, even if they usually don't like sharing, just say thanks with a smile. And this can make both of you feel better. Or when your neighbor picks up a package for you while you were away, it was a very kind gesture, it was done without any expectation, just say thank you. And it can significantly strengthen you're born and fill them with joy. Just don't shy away from saying thank you, and especially to our parents. Your mom prepares your favorite meal or your father prays your tuition, something that they have done out of love so many times and something that they were supposed to do. Yet a genuine smile and a loving thank you from you can deeply touch their heart and rekindle their energy. And the list and examples can go on and on and on. Let's make gratitude more than just a word in our lives. Today's journal task is simple. Identify one act of kindness they have done for you recently. Make it your mission today to thank them, specifically mentioning to them that you are being grateful for that specific thing that they did for you. Remember, just like charity, gratitude also begins at home.